Right. Tracy Archuleta, Southern Indiana, uh, first year in the OBC, brand new to the league, his 17th year, though, with the, uh, with the Screaming Eagles, uh, Program 1-2, uh, NCAA Division II National Championship. So, Coach, lots of new things going on. Just what are, what are your general thoughts about this upcoming season? Uh, we're excited. Uh, excited to uh, finally start playing again, playing, uh, you know, playing baseball, uh, playing at the highest level and playing in a great conference in the Ohio Valley Conference. Uh, I think the just you know, from the players and everything, just the excitement of going to new places, uh, you know, establishing new ri rivalries and uh, just being able to see if we can put ourselves on the map a little bit and, uh, you know, make some strides in a, a very good conference in the Ohio Valley and in Division One baseball. So I guess it was about a year ago, your invitation came. So what has changed in a year? Like when, from you hear the news, we're going to go Division One, join the OBC to you know, this season, how much has changed? And, and has it been like a whirlwind to get to where you are? Um, just excitement. I, I don't know uh, the excitement level of a, uh, of the city of Evansville uh, and the university of being able to go division one. Uh, and I think also uh, just recruiting, uh, trying to, you know, trying to get everything going there. Assistant coaches have a little bit, you know, hiring some new assistant coaches in there, getting all that established. Uh, but all in all, I mean, it's just, it's been a great transition. Uh, the, you know, our support staff's done a really good job and uh, having the assistance I have is, is really helped with, with that transition also. So what are your general thoughts then on the rest of the league going into this year? I mean, I know you haven't played everybody, but just from being around and what you've seen, what, what do you think from the race uh, that we'll see this year? Oh, it's uh, going to be highly competitive. Uh, I think, uh, you know, on any given day, uh, I mean, it's a game of baseball. Anybody can beat anybody. But uh, the top, you know, the top of the team, you know, CMO's had a, a lot of success. Uh, and I think everybody's trying to, you know, get to, you know, get to them. And uh, they're the probably, you know, the leaders and the, and the ones that have had the most success. But I think, you know, there's a lot of teams with uh, a lot of experience coming back. Uh, like, you know, when you look at all the different uh, players in that uh, preseason all-conference and, with Moorhead and, and Eastern and, 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 you know, and other teams and they're having some good guys back. It's, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting to see uh, where we match up with them. It's going to be exciting to see, uh, you know, uh, how every day uh, is going to change uh, during the OVC and each weekend. Now that we're in the transfer portal era too, is it things change a lot? So you, you know, the teams that we thought maybe had last year, they have all new players, the same with you all. Is it does that make it easier to get other players in now than you know maybe it used to be or is, how's that impact? Would you, I don't know what if it you ever think? gets easy, <laughs> e easier to get players in. Uh, yeah, there seem like there's more out there. Uh, you know, I think there is more players out there. Uh, getting the right player and the right fit uh, for your program is always it's always tough. But uh, you know the portal, uh, it's uh, it's a new dynamic that we have to adjust to and that we have to uh, figure out how to uh, use it the best way uh, for the University of Southern Indiana and. Uh, and making sure we get the right players in here to be, uh, you know, uh, a team in the OVC that's going to be, you know, competitive year in and year out and uh, hopefully make a run for that OVC title. So somebody who's never seen a USI game, uh, what, what should they know about your program? What, what could they expect if they come to a game? When they come to the game, I think the, the, the number one thing people tell me is, uh, wow, what a, uh, what a great experience. What a great crowd we have. I mean, every, you know, every game that, uh, that we have, uh, we, we have a lot of support, uh, you know, uh, from, you know, the big series is and when from hosting regionals and from different things in there, it's just kind of carried over over the years. And we've really started to establish a good fan base, uh, a good group of people that come out each, uh, each time. And, uh, it's a good environment. It's, it's a fun environment. I think when you go on the road, you want to, you know, you want to play in front of people, you want to play, uh, at, an, uh, at a good place. And we, you know, our field is very nice. It's in a, it's, it's in a, it's in a great place. And uh, the crowd is uh, definitely a, a lot of fun to be around. What would you say is the number one strength of your, your pro your team this year? Um, I'm going to say uh, probably our offense. Uh, I think offensively uh, we've shown uh, some good strides this year uh, just in the fall, uh, but yet, you know, still untested, uh, you know, uh, when you see the same arms day in and day out, uh, the, all of a sudden uh, the hitters start getting a little bit of advantage at times, but uh, uh, I'm excited about our bunch. I think uh, 
the newcomers uh, that we have coming in uh, have really adjusted well. And I think uh, some of our guys that uh, are coming back have made good, a big improvement. So I'm excited about, uh, about our offense and excited to see what they have to do. Are there any players that people should be watching uh, out for? And I, I, Lucas Minu, your catcher, he made the preseason all of VC. So have never played in OVC. I thought it was a, a pretty good honor. But anybody, two or three players spotlight that people should be watching for? Well, Lucas Manu has always been a good player. And he, uh, you mentioned him. And uh, Lucas, uh, a 5'10 catcher, that really, you know, he throws it well, a good athlete, can play. I mean, he's played second base for us. He's played left field for us. He's very, I mean, like I said, he can do all that. But also, he's hitting our three holes since he was a freshman. And uh, so he's a guy that's going to be uh, going to be fun to watch. Uh, Ricky Van Grieken has been the guy this fall for us that is uh, our shortstop that has really, uh, really impressed us uh, just about how he goes about his business. Uh, and uh, and he can he can play some defense. He's made some really good plays out there. Uh, Tucker Ebess, another Indian Hills transfer hitting in our four hole. He's you know, he's the pop in the order. Uh, and then. Um, you know, uh, on the other side, Ren Tashioka is a really good baseball player. I mean, he, you know, I think he hit 290 for us last year uh, and he struggled a little bit, but I think just being here for, a, a, you know, having that year of experience of being with us for a year, I think it's really going to help him in the transition to move forward. Uh, on the mound, uh, I think Caleb Meeks uh, as a newcomer has the best, uh, best chance to really make a big impact in the OVC. Uh, and I think Tyler Hudson and uh, and Roy Holcomb are the two guys uh, in, in the starting rotation that uh, hopefully we can get some stability from and, and, and move forward. And, you, you know, you, before you said that, you spotlighted your offense. I think sometimes it can be called the offensive Valley Conference. There's a lot of offense in that. So, I mean, it, it seems like maybe your team, if, if this is an offensive year, your team would fit in good and, and, and able to hit and put up some of those numbers. But does it matter if it's more of a pitching league or a hitting league? Just how does your team adapt to that? We want to pitch and play defense. I mean, I, I, every year that uh, that we've had success, uh, we pitch and play defense. Uh, and that that's the key. I mean, if we uh, – and, and I'll say this, if, if, if our guys uh, – if we go out and play every day and we can and we can pitch and play defense, we're gonna have a chance. I mean, and, and that's the hard thing in this league is it is so offensive. And you know, to uh, to handle the the crooked number innings and be able to bounce back and you know and and answer and and to go through that, that's gonna I mean uh, that's gonna be something that we're gonna have to adjust to and and uh, and understand you know the uh, the difference in the in the level and and, and the OVC. Talk about your schedule and how you put together the schedule going forward this year with some uh, some really good opportunities out there for your team. Uh, you know, with our schedule, it was, uh, you know, February and it's, I had to make it really quick and uh, just tried to find, uh, uh, you know, regional opponents uh, that uh, we could, uh, you know, sit in there and hopefully compete with and, and at the same time give our, uh, our young men uh, an experience. Uh, that they'll remember and they'll be able to enjoy and uh, also to get ready for the OVC, uh, you know, opening up, uh, you know, we open up with Western Illinois, then we're coming back uh, to uh, to home to play Bellarmine, uh, you know, former team in the GLVC, you know, just joined uh, division one, I, I believe they're in their third year at the, at, at, at division one. And then we go to Washington state uh, and uh, that, you know, that'll be a, probably an eye opener for us. Uh, in a couple of ways, you know, we're going to Washington in March, and uh, and uh, and also uh, a good Pac-12 team in there that uh, uh, we'll see uh, that where we rank and kind of get us ready uh, for the OVC. And then I think the other weekend set is about Murray, I think uh, former uh, former OVC opponent, so or OVC a member, but uh, and uh, hopefully be ready to to get us to go for that first uh, OVC uh, game. Although you had to find work to find those matchups, what you think people it was easy? They everybody wanted to play you because you're new to Division One. Maybe that's going to change in a couple of years, depending on how good you get, and people won't want to schedule you. I don't know. I don't think that at all. I don't. I think that uh, you know, baseball guys are baseball guys. I mean, we. I mean, and and I know the uh, with the RPI and and all the different things that uh, have to go in part there. But when you're sitting in the middle of the week and you're you know you need to make a a two hour trip. I mean, I mean, you, there's only so many schools you can get in there. And, and as far as the weekend set stuff, I think that, uh, you know, I think teams felt that we, uh, that we're going to be competitive, that we can help them also with their, uh, with their preparation for their, for their season coming up. So I don't, I don't look at it on, on either end of there. I just think that, uh, 
a couple of guys that I knew uh, that I, I reached out to first and were able to, uh, you know, solidify that. And uh, that's one thing about the coach, the, the coaching network, man, we, we all stick together and, uh, and try to help each other out uh, all the way through. Well, coach, appreciate your time this morning. Glad to have you in the OBC and best of luck to USI this season. All right. Thanks, Kyle.